Hello, welcome back to another edition of From the Vaults. My name is Dan Truckee. I'm director of the Bomir Upper Peninsula Heritage Center. And today we have some really cool items for you from the U.S. Olympic Educational Center at Northern Michigan University that are now in the collection of the Bomir Center. I'm going to tell you a little bit of the history behind the center, uh, but also behind these items themselves and one of the athletes uh, connected with them. It was in the 1960s that the concept of having an Olympic training center on the campus of NMU was first discussed, and that dream came true when it was designated in 1985. Soon thereafter, it was designated the Olympic Education Center by the U.S. Olympic Committee. The feeling was that it was a perfect place for aspiring athletes in various sports not only to train for international competition, but also to get a college education. Not all Olympic training facilities at that time were close to universities, and so Marquette and NMU were viewed as ideal. Over the years, athletes have trained for multiple Olympic sports at the training site, including ski jumping, biathlon, cross-country skiing, short track speed skating, boxing, wrestling, and luge, among many others. The program has produced 30 Olympic medalists who have won 36 medals and 139 athletes who have earned their degrees at Northern Michigan U University. The site has also hosted a number of national and international events such as the Short Track Speed Skating World Cup in 2003 and the 2006 and 2010 Olympic Trials. In 2010, the National Training Site hosted the USA Weightlifting National Collegiate Championships and has hosted numerous Junior Olympic Championships for boxing. Now the clothing items that you see were part of the official U.S. team outfits that were to be worn at the opening ceremonies of each of their respective games. The oldest is this jacket, which is from the 1988 Winter Olympics in Calgary. The cap down here you see is from the 1990, 1998 Winter Olympics in Nagano, Japan. And these shoes uh, are from the 2004 Olympics in Athens, Greece. Now, the Olympic Education Center had many athletes that competed in each of these Olympics, so we're not actually sure who wore them. However, that is not the case with this outfit. One of the most successful programs has been the Olympic Boxing Training Center at NMU, which has produced many Olympians and medal winners. One of the boxers who trained at the center was Vernon Forrest. Being one of over 100 applicants for one of five openings, Vernon Forrest was fortunate to get in. He grew up in a very impoverished neighborhood in Atlanta and was looking not only for training, but a way to escape with the situation he was in. He brought two goals with him to the USOEC, become the first member of his family to finish high school and the box in the 1992 Summer Olympics. He did both, taking classes day and night in the fall of 1991 to meet his own graduation deadline of January 1992 at Marquette Senior High School before heading off to Barcelona, Spain as a member of the U.S. Olympic team. Vernon and all the male U.S. athletes wore this suit during the opening ceremonies in Barcelona on July 25, 1992. The ensemble and the other casual wear from the Olympic Games was designed by Henry Grethel. The design combined rich fabrics, colors, and elegant silhouettes to create a truly fashionable style. Rather than use, utilizing traditional American colors of red, white, and blue, he selected the more vibrant hues of berry, cobalt blue, and white, along with the Olympic gold. Both the men's and women's ensembles were topped off with these fedoras that you see here. And Grethel also designed leather belts. You can see the belt right there. Knuckbuck boots, hosiery, and gloves to accent the clothing. And for dressier occasions, he designed generously cut white shirts and silk ties for the men and silk scarves for the women. And you can see the tie here, and you can see the Olympic crest on the shirt, and then these beautiful shoes that were worn by all of the athletes. Forrest was favored to win a medal, but unfortunately suffered food poisoning the day before his opening match and lost to Peter Richardson. But his glory days were far from over. After the Olympics, he became a pro boxer and was one of the best welterweight boxers of the 1990s and 2000s. Over 16 years, he compiled a record of 41 wins and three losses. And from 2001 to 2003, he was the World Boxing Association welterweight champion. In 2002, Forrest was named Fighter of the Year by the magazine The Ring and the Boxing Writers Association of America. 
In 2007, he made a comeback as a light middleweight and claimed the World Boxing Council's world champion belt in 2007 and then again in 2008. Unfortunately, Forrest's story does not have a happy ending. A year after retiring in 2008, he was killed during a robbery at a gas station near his home in Atlanta. So we feature this outfit today in memory of Vernon Forrest and his accomplishments and important time he spent here in Marquette and at Northern Michigan University. Over the years, the U.S. Olympic Education Center has suffered at times from lack of funding and it is not as active as it once was. Yet there are still several Olympic athletes training on campus in resonant training programs including Greco-Roman wrestling and Olympic style weightlifting. In 2020, the center was given the title of the National Training Site to recognize the partnership with USA Wrestling and USA Weightlifting. And so that's it for this week's edition of From the Vaults, and I'll be back next week with some other fascinating stuff to show you. Thanks for watching.